Okay, so if you clicked on the top now, you could see uh, a sculpture that I uh, generated with AI. Um, I want to show you what I did and how you can achieve the same result that I got. Okay, so the model I used to generate the, the sculpture and the 3D model is on Hugging Face uh, and it's available there. If you uh, go to their website and go to the tab with 3D modeling and click on Spark 3D, you will see it here and you can click on it and you will be entering the interface. And on that side, you can generate, generate models, upload your own images, AI generated, it can be photos, whatever you want. Just make sure the background is white. So this is the page uh, about the Trini model uh, generation uh, model. And if you can already see the terminal of their video, the amount of detail is just incredible. Um, you can read all the stuff they have on this website and how they got this uh, results and how the technique works, uh, all that stuff. We will be going on uh, the platform called Hugging Space and try out their uh, model. So what I did is I uh, found an image online of a sculpture I liked. Um, I did not do any AI generation. I downloaded the image. I removed the background in Photoshop. You can now use other AI models to remove the background or do something else. I'm just like Photoshop, so I use that to remove the background easily. And then I put it in uh, the input of image. And then what you can do is click on generate. Uh, you only need one image, uh, you don't want to um, get multiple images, like multiple faces of the same model that you want to generate, so not a top view, left view, or like that whole um, yeah, image asset that you want to create normally. Um, this generation, uh, this model really just generates from one image, and the amount of detail he gets from one image is just incredible in itself. Uh, so let's click on generate and we will see what the result will be. Sometimes it can be a long queue. Um, so the queue is 20 people. So I'm waiting on 20 people that go uh, before me. Um, quick note is that it's totally free. So it's you don't have to pay or anything like other platforms like Mesh AI. I'm going to let this sit in the background. However, you can also click some sample images to use and generate those. I um, already did this one and the incredible thing about this model is that even though it does not seem the back face of uh, the monkey's head on this ring, it still is very accurate and the detail is just incredible. And what I want to show to you uh, is the difference in incredible detail and consistency this model generates. I think it's almost done. Um, I guess it's about one minute. Uh, but I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to wait. Okay, the image has been processed and the model has been generated. So if you can already see, uh, the amount of detail we get with this model is just incredible. Um, if you zoom in a little bit, we can see the amount of detail we get. Just look at the amount of detail. And the crazy thing about this model as well is that we only uploaded one image uh, of the front face of the sculpture. And even though it only sees that part, it still accurately generates a nice back result. Uh, it's not flat, not open. The the yeah the consistent detail and quality is just incredible. Okay, so now you can download the model here. Uh, I've already done this. So I'm not going to download it again. Um, you can open it in Blender or other 3D software. So let's do that. Okay, we're now back in Blender. I put each model um, I generated for it with different AI models uh, in here beside each other. Above each 3D model is the name of the AI we used. So uh, on the left hand side is the image that we used to generate each of them. And all these generations only used one image and the image is this one. Yeah, if you, you can probably already tell the amount of difference in detail we've got here and how accurate the Spark 3D is in, compar in comparison with the others. So what I really wanted to show you guys is uh, it's not just another AI model right now because the amount of detail you can get in comparison to all the other 3D models generated that we have got nowadays is just so much better and the results just speak for themselves. I use Mesh AI a lot lately. However, uh, since a week ago, Spark 3D released and I just saw the incredible difference in detail. I have always used AI models to be used in the background uh, because when you've put them close to the camera they don't hold up and uh, the detail is not there the the mesh is not there and it just breaks apart when you put them close to the camera however 
when you use Spark TG now, uh, it holds up the details there. You can even use them as hero assets, just full, put them full in full frame, get close up there uh, with the camera. But in my opinion, for static objects, um, it's really usable right now. The only thing Spark 3D does not do is generate textures. So if you really need textures and don't want to make them yourselves, you can use the others. However, you should really use them in the background. But with Spark 3D, you can really, really make some cool stuff here. To demonstrate you guys, I made a little bit of a render scene to show you how well these AI models hold up to the camera. Not really that complicated of a scene. It's just a HRI put on the sphere and I created some extra lights to light up this sculpture itself. Uh, so let's go to the camera itself and then go to the view, uh, render view. This is real time uh, rendering right now so it's denoising as well. So to show you a better view, I rendered some out already. It's just HD quality, not 4K yet. So if you look at this already, uh, in my opinion, this is very usable for any animation or commercial you want to use it for. It's just incredible and the amount of detail you can retain with these AI models uh, right now. And that's why you really should use it. This is still an animation I'm working on, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys the amount of uh, detail and how far 3D model generation has come and how usable they are becoming. Hi right, guys, this is my first tutorial, so uh, <laughs> hang on with me. Um, if something is not clear or misunderstood, maybe, uh, make sure to comment down below. Uh, I'll, I'll change it and uh, we'll see it later.